What is going on Warriors? It's your boy Shinryu and it is time for another Street Fighter Duel content. Alright, so uh, amidst all my excitement uh, and going through the kit of uh, Oni, we did forget to check a few other key things that matter with the character. We only looked at pretty much his um, basic fighting kit. We didn't look at the fighting spirit the soul power and of course the garage as well so i don't i think i may have looked at the garage i'm not really sure but i'm going to go right ahead and we're going to review all those things and then we're going to go into the uh test of the character himself okay so let's start ahead first of all with the uh, garage that's one of the easiest ones to just go through real quick uh, once you have three pairs it says increases damage reduction by 50 percent when unleashing shikisei chinraiken or tenchi goken Increases increase damage reduction by 50%. Okay, so making it looks like it's kind of making them a little bit more tougher and looks like we're talking about These moves here. Let's go back to the skill. Uh, this one should be one of the intentions. I guess the other one the passive one Oh, uh, yeah, six a dragon. So uh, the passive one obviously is the one that he does upon entering battle All right, and also what is the other trigger for it? um once you use your ring demon on a target that with Sasuno Iki, it's going to trigger that as well. All right, so um, let's go right ahead and let's um, go continue to look at the car, whatever that actually looks really cool. So uh, at the same time, when strengthened, Tenchi Shukaiken first and third strikes have 100% chance of reducing target's defense by 35% for 15 seconds. So just going to give it a chance to just mull through this is pretty much a good you know uh passive for sure and something you want to add to unleash fully unleash the destruction of oni and of course you know, the decimation of the opposing team right um so that's pretty nice that's one to look at uh i hope i already put him on my wish list if i haven't i better do that now uh i typically like to mention that my oh hold on <laughs> the wrong spot here <laughs> well let's focus on that we're going to do that later uh the other thing we're going to look at is let's look at the um soul power what are the things that are going to be popping up here we're dealing with crit rates all right and of course the first one says increase the chance of inflicting sasino Iki to some five percent okay um then the other one here increases the critical damage of the skill by 40 percent all right we're doing crit rate here, which is one of the more important, you know, um, buffs that you can get to yourself whenever you push this stuff up. And of course, our uh, last one, just PVP stuff, you know, all the general stuff. So he's is 12% and 8%. And damage will not 12%, damage reduction 8%. Um, let's see, what is every use uh, again? Is it the same thing? Oh, he's a 16% and 4%. All right. Uh, also crit rate. No, so now that's pretty much we saw whatever and the exclusive move here um, Let's see I'm gonna compare with Ivory so I can remember what move actually changes in the first one So the first one is damage reduction damage bonus damage critical resilience is his uh, what is Goku's own critical damage I believe all right, so um that's the way it's fighting with his soul power. Obviously, you know, looking at the, the fact that you can get additional crit rate as well as the critical damage that you get, definitely going to be an important unit to actually use your soul power on for sure. Of course, you have to push him up to triple S um, plus two in order to get the chance to actually start to work on this soul power stuff. So, and of course, to get all the remaining bonuses, you have to get the remaining three stars, three, four, and five to push all this through. And that is pretty much going to be how that works. All right. So now uh, going to the last one, which is going to be the fighting spirit. Oh, I should not go out. I just had to just switch to um, back to skill and then fighting spirit. So now here is the part that we're going to look at here. Okay. The spirit stats gives you uh, HP bonus 19%, attack bonus 37%, crit damage of 15%, and pressure of 10%. Okay. All right, that's how that is actually distributed. And for the assist, what it says is uh, when an ally or enemy dies, increase the assisted fighter's damage bonus by 12% and crit rate by 18% for 10 seconds. This is good for, you know, PvE, PvP, and of course, uh, the um, Sh Shadowland Guild because you're going to be getting rid of a lot of enemies and that means you're going to be increasing the bonus of the assist fighter that is if you want to use him in an assist position of course you need to get in 
jobless by then but is it going to be worth sacrificing to be in the assist position uh well it depends if you have a more damage dealing unit that you want to put him on but otherwise um that's a pretty much good assist uh it wouldn't be great for bosses though because you're not going to expect the boss to die unless there are some tiny minions around and that can actually help all right but uh, and of course, of course, if your ally dies and he's able to, you know, and whoever you're assisting, like Bites, for example, survives, that gives more damages. But let's go on to the next one. Uh, when Meido Gohado is triggered by Oni's Tenchi Shukaigen, Shukaigen, it can penetrate one enemy. Meido Gohado, is that the Adoken? Yeah. Oh, so, are they saying that if... You know, uh, once you add fighting soul, it would pass through the first person and hit the next person because that's the only purpose of it penetrating, right? If it's penetrating, it means you can go on to the next person. We're going to see how the fighting spirit continues, but I'm just going to add more, all right? So, second one says, when second Jerkins first strike absorbs Satsuno Iki, it does not remove the target Satsuno Iki stack. Oh, okay. And then when uh, Meidu Kohado is triggered by Oni's Chenchi Shukaigen, it can penetrate all enemies. Yeah, that's what that's probably what it was. Uh, he hit the first person, he hit the person now. Uh, his fireball is going to be going through everybody. And that is crazy. And they're not seeing anything about it being reduced at any point in time. So that's just a pretty, pretty nice fighting spirit. It just kind of like empower, powers up this one really. Uh, the second one is the one that kind of like is uh, more of a general thing. Excuse me. Where it says, like I said, Jarek's first strike absorbs Satsuna Iki. It does not remove the target Satsuna Iki stack. All right. So, all right. So, that's all uh, pretty much that. With that, I want to make sure that I actually covered that. Excuse me. Have a bit of hiccups unnecessarily right now. But now we're going to go over to the limited fighter experience okay or limited time experience on oh, this is where we're going to go right ahead and test the character to see how viable the character is okay and like i always do over here pretty much how we do it is this we're going to go right ahead and look at the caliber of the opponents all right whoever is being you know paired against us we're looking at the light one of the Infer master inferno characters specifically the top tier ones the top tier ones are going to be like you know the akumas the bisons you know and of course the evil ryu for sure uh then otherwise you can also consider sagats um rose um you know G i guess jury as well so, I mean, any of the juries and some of the other ones there but typically you're looking at the likes of um you no know, uh the top tier you know uh you know um the top tier master inferno characters in order to do that we're going to use that and of course you're also going to be checking out our tinkering are you going to be finding yourself doing a lot of maneuvering in terms of like switching characters in order to make the team work if you find yourself doing that a lot then obviously that is also under detriment they have to consider as well the last thing we didn't actually check all right which you guys only is i believe his speed Typically, when it comes to speed, we'll be able to see when it's time for the challenge. So, we'll check out the speed in a bit there. Uh, but then, of course, the last one is, uh, are you going to be using only a lot, you know, to deal your damage? Or are you going to be finding yourself, depending on other characters, to get things moving? All right. So, those are the characters we're going to use to judge character. Now, full disclosure here, before we actually proceed, is that the fighting heart is also important in this event so you want to make sure that you are at a decent level luckily for us we all work with uh, a lot of attackers uh, so we're going to be finding yourself in a good level here we are 25 here of course it can be higher but we are not we this is not a slouch level compared to for example what we had with elena with my support being level 10 and of course we're struggling as a result of that so everything all looks set and ready to go with regards to the character i don't think it should struggle much so let's go right ahead and let's look at the calibers real quick gonna go in uh in an anti-clockwise cycle starting from here uh we have sagat here so that actually is top tier all right we have uh a chun here i'll say that's okay tier in terms of like an attack what team is she paired with with these other guys i'll say okay tier really uh we have um jury here jury is also someone i'll say okay tier at this point right now uh but she's not bad okay to top tier now we have um divine divine rose uh i think i would also say okay tier as well i don't want to say top tier this is not even you this is not kuma this is not jen 
you know, and this is not the actual rose that is dangerous. Uh, which jury, maybe I'll say top tier at this point. Uh, it's not bad at all. I'll say top tier. And if, don't forget, you can also take out your energy. Uh, summary bookie, I'll say okay slash top tier as well. But we're not seeing those really dangerous, you know, team members like Bison, who is like, you know, S tier and all that kind of stuff. And even you. So we're going to say, you know what? Um, it should be a breeze for us to still give him a good rating here. So we're going to start with uh, Sagat right now. And like I said before, this over here is not, this is not a guide or whatever. This is just us testing out. We don't have to complete the level. If we find ourselves completing the level as quickly as possible, then it means we're doing really great. Uh, if we don't find ourselves finishing the level as quickly as possible and we're struggling with Tinkering, then it means, you know, we have to start looking for specific team members. And that, in my opinion, is not uh, a good look for the character. So we're going to be going right ahead and mixing things up for starters. Let's go right ahead and put... No, what are you doing here? I don't want you. Um, we're going to use this unit here for sure. Uh, this is going to be the template. Now, just going to just start it out here. We're going to, first of all, try and start out, uh, max out the character. I know what's up. Uh, otherwise, this is what I actually really want to do. If we use to start, hit to finish. But like I said before, we leave it like that, and we're going to go right ahead and we start testing things at a low level. Uh, let's look at what uh, we forgot to check the speed. We check the speed when we come out. So we have Jen here in Sagat. This is a really, really top tier unit for sure. Let's start by unleashing Rikoken. All right. Oh, the rating demo nice. And then we can go with her. And then we can do this. And then we can use his stuff again. All right. Ooh, look at the way that just burnt through everyone there, and then he threw that fireball again. Oh, this is dope. Although he got stunned for some reason, and it went. If you have to take over and do the rest, and you know, now we just have one person left. Sagat, obviously, with his you know, mini cat, square root cat life. You know, just three right on nine. So, oh uh, yeah, that looked pretty. Easy. Only had done a lot of major damage. You can see here, it's coming out on top as a damage dealer. So that is actually amazing to see. But that is obviously using only with a start there. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go right. Here, I'm going to exit. Just take the, this kit here, and then we're going to go right here. We're going to exit. And I want to actually try what my actual potential. Like I said, I want to start with every you because when it starts stacking with that no Iki at the same time as well. And he also grants Satno Iki to everybody, which kind of makes it amazing. I'm going to put Chun Li here again. I'm going to put um, Elena here again. And this time, like I said, we're going to be triggering with every you instead of uh, with Oni. Now we're going to be ending with Oni. Trigger with every you and with Oni. Actually, I actually just made it like uh, whatever. But I kind of like the manual play sometimes, you know. All right, we'll go over here. Well, when we triggered the Ivory U, we lost him. What happened there? That was a quick loss. And he just ringed him on there. What we're trying to do, we're trying to suck up the stack and key as quickly as possible, and that's why we had to go with Ivory there. I'm watching how the Demon is taking out the health. Hmm. Well, obviously, still easy. Honestly, got the job done. But I want to go right ahead and I want to try this every stuff again. This is not an every test, but this is obviously my dream team test as well. Uh, only has passed the test, you know, with flying colors in this first round here. But I wonder why I lost Ivory so quickly the first time. I didn't lose him the first time around, but I lost, or well, of course, we lost Oni. I guess because I brought him in front to take the hit. Uh, but let's see. All right. Let's go right ahead and let's see how this works out this time. Um, let's see here. We have a detriment on us already. All right. Yeah, like this time around, Ibrahim is getting the hit. Oh, what happened here? Both of them got hit this time. I think I didn't like adapting or what, what is going on here. It's like they realize, oh, you know what? He reused lasted, so let's get rid of him first of all. And then he got rid of uh, him, and then this time he got rid of both of them. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Might have to quit. I didn't have to quit now. We didn't get rid of those guys, so 
let's go right ahead let's try again all right um and i don't know why they keep giving me this chunly whatever this is the one i want all right well let's hope we can actually survive that first hit because we need to unleash assassin we need to unleash if we are strictly as possible so we can get that uh super armor uh i see come on come on come on come on come on attack real quick all right let's go all right let's go okay let's go let's go every you do your stuff as well all right cool now we're seeing damage all over now you can see oh what just happened there and then they they attacked back okay i don't know what happened there but they did show some sort of vulnerability for us only still rocked as mvp for sure well i'm going to be doing all that behind to figure out why that worked this one is for everyone so let's not focus on just my dream team alone all right so now we don't have only anymore i'm going to put mad ryu all right and we're going to go right ahead let's see what i want to put yeah i want to put a proper support as well let's put p zang let's put in people that i know that would be ideal people you want to use in the first place all right so you might disagree with you no know, mad ryu but I think it's cool. This time, there is no debate. Only starting. Alright. This should be an easy team. This team doesn't have any bite at all. I don't know how attempted to use every you there. I should have used Oni. Alright. So, I think we're able to resolve the question that we had before. The question of... It just it doesn't matter if it was Oni that actually triggered the... You know c3 he was still to the fireball as you guys can see there so that is actually cool all right so we got that one sorted out easy peasy i'm gonna go over to the third one and let's see how that one works out who do we have to pair him up with i'm just gonna pick interest character i need one support so i can actually do it treat c2 i just make it interesting let's get this girl here let's get you know you know what? Do you want to do these kids? Let's do these boys. Yun and Yang. Alright. And not in any particular order when I call the names. Because uh, this is obviously Yun and that's Yang. Alright. And let's see. Now we've got a bunch of kids working with Oni. Let's see how he does. Now this is no slouch of a team. You can see Vigor is there. But then again, having these two guys gives us that speed advantage. Oh my god, Oni is such a beast. Look at how he's cleaning house. Look at how he's cleaning house. He's a he's a monster, alright? He's like we we kids, he 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 just spat them like they were nothing. Now we've got another set of people who are trying to stop him. It looks like we're gonna be wrapping this up quickly. I can't find this on being a trail. We're gonna get Ivory again. I, I mean Mad Ryu again. I always like to put Mad Ryu there. Who's gonna be our support? Who's gonna be our C two trigger? Uh, bah, 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 bah. You got a one? I mean, see one trigger. Do you have a one, Jen? Okay, let's use you. Use you, and then of course we use. Let's use Viper. Actually, let's have a tank in there. We haven't had a tank yet, so let's do that. All right, every year gonna be definitely be. Uh, we don't. I don't think I need your C one. It's all gonna be only here. This is actually a debate in terms of like using every use Dragon Smash and Oni's Raiden Demon. I think I might have to change that idea and actually focus on using every use Raiden Demon. Let's see, do that. Oh, we're going to have to use Oni this time around. Oh, when he does that, that just burns. In fact, he has an AU and then throws that fireball. And you can see there, he goes through everybody because he's already maxed out in terms of like his fighting soul. So amazing stuff the only thing you have to understand is that he's uh ring demon is not like the craziest version like it doesn't it's not really getting major heats maybe because we have a spec like man oh no this guy is a beast i love the character already like i am ready to integrate him into my squad however we know it's going to be a struggle pushing the character up as quickly as possible but i'm ready to have this guy in there however is he is he worth substituting for bison i think if anything maybe akuma is one that's going to have to come out 
which I'll be cool with because what am I saying? We have Gokin, we have Akuma, we have Iria, we have yeah. Maybe Akuma will have to come out. I don't know, man. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking out loud because you know Akuma and Oni are one of the same person. If I want to make it look more realistic, and I have to assume that Oni is just here and Akuma is not. That's what I'm just thinking. But hey. That's just me thinking out loud, guys. So, ignore my thoughts, for real. Oh, who's going to be out? C1. Let's not play around with this, okay? Let's try using... Oh, Philong. Let's see. No, I'm not using either of you. I'm going to use Oni for sure. All right. If we just get to watch the show, man, I'm just putting him down of sentiments because I'm not using his moves at all and doesn't attack passively. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So my bookie proving her what, and I think she heard me say that she's like, you know, passive to whatever, and she was like, you know what, we're going to show you guys. And yeah, that was our first, that was our first test, our first challenge. Uh, we're not going to balk, we're going to go again. And where is um, Philong? We have the speed advantage, there's L40 there. All right, let's go. I think I'm gonna use her instead. All right, now now who's now who's talking? Now who's talking? Okay, okay. Okay, we've just been silenced for a little bit, but they're already in trouble, they're already in trouble. I don't know what happened in the first round, but this time around, easy peasy guys. I don't even think there's going to be a need for any training guide here. It's just going to be too easy. There's not going to be any need to watch any which team to use and all that kind of stuff. But always a help regardless. Especially if you're kind of like not as high in terms of like your fighting heart. Okay. So let's go right ahead. Let's look at the final guys here. Um, I'm going to play around with that first battle with the Ivory, you know, whatever. Because I won't really want to see how it stops work uh, we already have like a c2 whatever like i can't even I, i'm just gonna pick anybody at this point i'm gonna put him here uh i don't like him as my tank i just like him supporting because i don't usually use the you know the shield i just use the health so we're gonna go right ahead and let's see all right let's see how which jury does there again the head start instead of attack we're probably going to lose. Ooh, what was that move there? What was that move that just went through? However, it doesn't matter because we're going to have this guy blasting through things. Cody is proven to be a handful. Uh, but we're just going to call it false alarm. False alarm, guys. Yep. Easy peasy. The guy we didn't need died. And that's it. We finished the actual whatever. No tinkering, no thinking about who to substitute and whatever. Just nice, basic obliteration of these guys. All right, Oni is the truth. We have to say that for sure. Like, I'm really impressed. The fact that he has an AoE that actually really works is amazing. I really wish the first guy was Bison though, like I would have loved to have just tried to see him face Bison. So I listened to a parent if you in, in the lineup there, but Sagat is a word, more than worthy opponent because he kind of like has the same Bison effect except the Return of the Inferno, which is pretty much a really deadly move right there. I think what happened was that we had a bit of a speed disadvantage. That's just what you know. That's just why uh, we can always combat that by either adding beasts and give, or at least adding some, you know, um, what's that uh, Vega whatever that gives you speed. I'm gonna add in of those two, and that pretty much help it work. Uh, but yeah, let's go right in. Let's go right in. Let's hit these guys one more time. Okay, uh, I want to try and. Just come on, Ivory. I need to tap you as quickly as possible because you're taking too much hits. 
do not let me use my overview like it is weird that you know what I'm gonna do something different let's just quit I don't want it really to be my tank let's look for someone that's gonna take that tank that tank position because like I said for Goken is gonna be there and it's not gonna be given let me every you take all that stupid and necessary hit that he takes there right so we're gonna do that and we're gonna be having you know Elena there as a support we just want a nice support unit there all right so now he's gonna to have to take the hit and we're gonna see how everything pans out all right because if you needs to unleash his uh, sure you can he needs to unleash his ring demon if he has a chance to there's a lot of little uh, young stars on the other side oh look at me I lost my mouse <laughs> when I was trying to attack and that ruins a lot of things yeah that just kind of ruined the dynamic there uh, why is this stuff slowing down oh I forgot to plug the laptop is it a battery issue I hope that's what it is let's go ahead and just plug it there maybe that's not what it is but I'm just gonna just plug it anyways make sure that we don't have that buffering situation again that stutter all right let's go one more time this is gonna be the wrap the last of it um well want to make sure that we have a win for sure and this is why I need someone that has a one and a two, right? Well, let's go right ahead and let's 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 hope that this guy survives. Come on, you got this. All right, where you at? Where you at? Okay, I saw that. I saw that there. What's actually nice is, uh, so let's just try using him this time around. Mm, yeah, that is the real raging demon right there, man. The one you have no control over. And he's back. So, what am I trying to say here? The actual lineup is going to have Goken in place of Hugo, right? And that should make a lot of sense. Now what is left is you know Akuma and Bison is the one I have to sort of like look at to sort of like review what the stuff is. But Oni is the truth. I just put it out let's just put it out there. Alright. Uh the his fighting soul is really also nice once again. Uh, having that fireball going through impressive so guys you know you guys are interested in getting Oni you guys can go ahead and get at it I'm not gonna stop you guys he actually is uh, the bomb okay he is not like a game changer I'm gonna just come out there and say he's extremely impressed like he's one of the best damage units out there now he's really really awesome and really really great but he's not like a game I think because we've we have a lot of really really good characters right now that we can't really just put in there if he came out like around the time when Ivory came out for example yeah he would have been extremely scary like probably even well in the same caliber of Ivory I would, I'll put it that way uh, also I'll see if he came out when Virgil came out as well I would say you know what another game changer that sort of like joined Ivory in that line but because we've had likes of Ivory we've had likes of Virgil that have come out with this sort of like you know amazing whatever he's like after all these newer characters that have been out and when i mean newer characters we're talking about you know the likes of um somebody bookie with her you know kit we're talking about likes of um um divine rose although not really spectacular but you know having you know, um go my guy who already exists as an amazing character you know having you know um jury witch jury as well you know, with a new kid, you know, hanging in and there, like, yeah, and all that kind of stuff. He's blown out all those guys out of the water. Like, he's, like, a top dog, for sure. But, like, he's not coming at a time when we would be like, oh, man, this is crazy. It is really good. It's not broken. It is really good, but it's not broken, as you can see. Now, the last thing I want to see as well is that this also gives a bit of a nice whatever for Gomagala Ken fans. Right, because like I said before, the fact that I can actually trigger his last means you can also add him as a passive as well. 
to Oni. So Oni is kind of like the guy who can work with other passives. And that also includes, you know, Summer Elena, right? I just like to remind me of her too. Yeah. So you can now get that health boost and all that buffs, you know, popping around at the same time. And not worry about losing the disadvantage of having two passive characters if you have him there, right? Now, having three passive characters, that's the French story entirely. That's not going to work because you can only do is one and three. So if you start, um, if we look about, if we, if let's, say, well, let's say we're looking at three passive characters for example now. We're looking at uh, the likes of, let's say, Ivory you, you know, Oni, you know, Elena, and let me highlight Elena because I'm not used to her as I'm used to her as well. I sort of am. Ivory you, Elena, or uh, let's say, uh, Bison and Oni, right? Let's see. I trigger with every you, right? That it removes um, Elena has a chance to work with. I only have Bison to do with C1, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing else I can do about that, right? So that's why you can actually work with the you know, we're having three, but two. Of course, three is too much, but two is more than enough. So I would say kudos to him. That's the game-changing element that he actually has brought, if any. It's the fact that he can work with other passive, you know, non-trigger-based characters. Otherwise, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. This was really longer than it should have been. Uh, I didn't include, you know, the uh, Fighting Soul, the... Um, what does that miss? The garage as well as the soul power, you know, reveal review of the character. So I had to do that as well. And of course, pretty much amazing character, you know. Uh, but it's been your boy Shinri Yu. Make sure you smash the like and subscribe to the video, um, to the to the, uh, to the channel. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.